was nobody. We're all Adam's got. Just call me Arnie. Arnie has voyeuristic fantasies. I'm not really as smart as I look. Delusions of being controlled. I think he ate the hair out of my brush. Acute paranoia. I knew it. Is he violent? <laughs> Unless medicated. <laughs> Yappy, but tender. <laughs> I think he's like on financial aid. What the hell is he doing in our house? Well, I think he's looking for some fun. You know who's gonna give it to him? Come on, you're not gonna do what I think you're gonna do, are you? Why not? Krieger? Yeah, oh, don't no. be jealous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, meet me in the shack. Ten minutes. <laughs> Some more fun? Because I know how you can. Where are we going? Oh, I'm just somewhere where we can be alone. Oops. Careful, Adam. Have you ever kissed a girl, Adam? Hmm? Have you? Yeah. Yeah? Really? Mm. I think you're pretty cute, Adam. Do you like me, huh? Do you? Yeah. Do you want to kiss me, Adam? Uh-huh. Yeah? Do you want to kiss me? Uh-huh. Do you like me, Adam? Uh-huh. Yeah. Get in the bed. I need to use the little girl's room. So you keep that warm, OK, Adam? OK. It's not going to be a problem for you, is it? No. get the comedy gene there, did you, Krieger? In my pants. You think, uh, should I? You're not gonna start squirting now, are you? <laughs> Here you go. Come. What are you gonna do, Adam? Come on, little fella. <laughs> hey! Give me my pants! Come here. Ooh. Are you a lesson, you little dork? So, man. Why is he breathing like that? Uh, how should I know? Because you're pre-med. Hey, man, why can't he breathe? Maybe you punctured a lung or something. I don't know. We got to get him to the hospital. What? Well, it's a mile to the main road, 20 minutes to the hospital. Uh, no, if we don't get him there, he's going to die. What about the police? They're going to have all sorts of questions. Hey, hey, no, 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 no way. Uh, no way. Tell him it was an accident. You think they're going to buy that? Look at this guy. He's a mess. Oh, look, this is assault or it's murder, but it's over first, OK? Either way, man, it is over. He is not breathing. You guys, he is not breathing. Oh, my God, what do we do? Oh, boy. Huh? I don't what know. We do? Why 
Why did you have to do that? Because you couldn't. You're the one who beat the hell out of him. None of this would happen if you hadn't gone haywire. Hey, man, you it. held him, all right? Yeah, shut up! Guilty. All right. Shut up! Now, we're all in this together, and we're all going to be fine. That's deep enough. There's going to be questions. We don't know Adam Krieger. We didn't see him. He wasn't one of us. He was nobody. found at the scene suggests the murder weapon was a baseball bat. So Adam Krieger's been dead for 10 years, and nobody's found him till now? Technically, he was a missing person. His parents kept up the search. Up until two years ago, they were killed in a car accident. Any other family? Brothers or sisters? No. You and I, we're all Adam's got now. What about these guys? They were all in the uh, Delta Kappa Pi frat house the night Adam was killed. Uh -huh. So I thought I'd send him a little reminder of days gone by. Hi, what's for uh, Buckingham? Yes, sir. Would you sign here? Ah. Roses. Not quite. Piper looks like we have a uh, secret admirer. Thanks. <laughs> Twenty-seven frat boys. Twenty-seven bats. And Brian's the only one who blows chunks. Sent me a bat too, bye. Everybody in the fraternity got one. It's a prank. Yeah, well, Vivian's the one that should have gotten one. She's the one that bashed Adam's skull in. Where is she anyway? Yeah, probably with one of her Looney Tune patients. You know, strengths can get 200 an hour. So can doctors, Derek. That's why I thought you went to med school. Yeah, well, you know, the, the autopsy lab was uh, pretty tough after. Besides, architects get more tail. <laughs> Three. Yeah, whatever, Derek. So you, uh, you stay in touch with Viv? Yeah, yeah well, uh, w once I saw her, you know, after a divorce. <laughs> Brian, you're wearing glasses now. How cute. Derek, it's always a pleasure. So? So? That's it? So? Uh, we're looking at a world of problems here. No, we are looking at a body that is 10 years old, a victim who has no family and no friends. Police will give up at the first dead end. What do you know? All we have to do is stay cool. Three of a kind. So you're gonna turn these guys against each other? No. I think Viv and Derek and Brian ought to stick together. Till the very end. Would you uh, help me put this on? Finally, something that makes complete and total sense. Very nice. 
Just call me Arnie. Okay, let me get this straight. You want to make a very large donation to our law enforcement fund if we solve the Krieger case? Not me. The anonymous party that I represent. Payable on conviction. Why? Because my anonymous employer is very rich. He is very eccentric, and Adam's case made him cry. Trust me, this man never cries. We don't have a lot of leads on this thing. Ten-year-old remains, not much to work with. Did I mention the amount of the donation, Mr. Devane? No. $500,000. Pardon? 20% payable in advance. It's good. It's just election year posing. I've got nothing. Nothing? Come on, first the bats and now the music? I told you guys, somebody knows. Just chill, Brian. Somebody? Yeah, I wonder who. Which one of you put that on my car? Oh, God. It's gotta be one of you guys. What? Fess up, Derek. Brian. Brian Buckingham? I don't know if Mr. Buckingham informed you, but I am Dr. Laramie, and I'm from the state psychiatric facility in Hillsboro. What's this about, doctor? My patient, Arnie Chapel. Actually, it's my ex-patient. He was released against my recommendation. When he is not taking his meds... Excuse me. What does this have to do with us? I'm trying to warn you, Miss Pratt. Doctor. Doctor. Arnie is obsessed with you. Actually, he's obsessed with all of you. <laughs> what, what do you mean, obsessed? What is his diagnosis? Uh, schizophrenia. Does he have first rank symptoms? First rank, yes. Which ones? Uh, he has uh, acute paranoia. Uh, he's suffering uh, from delusions of being controlled. Is he violent? Unless medicated. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't get it. I mean, you know, we don't even know this Arnie guy. How can he be obsessed with us? Arnie has voyeuristic fantasies of all kinds, so when he told me that he was a witness to something that the three of you had done in college, I thought, of course, he was fully delusional. So, after the state board decided to release him, I thought I'd run a little check just to be safe. But it turns out you guys are real. Who knew? He should be recommitted. Arnie is legally free, and there is not a thing I can do about it. Now, he may show up. So I brought a picture. Now, if you see him. Oh, my God. I've seen this man. Uh, me too. Oh my God, terrific. OK, OK. Now, you are going to need to get a restraining order from the police. Now, tell them everything, and then just give me a call. Thank you. You're so welcome. Police. That's great. You want us to go to the police. I can't believe somebody saw us. My god, he could be wandering around town telling people. Viv, you're a shrink. Can't you get someone to put him away? You need a judge for that. Uh, you know, I think maybe we're all overreacting. Maybe, you know, this guy's just passing through town. Maybe he's... Ah! Oh.
Ten years ago, I used to live in the woods by the college. Cookie. Oh, no, thank you. Do you have any pepperoncinis? They really flush out the pipes. <clears throat> Why don't you have a seat, Arnie? Maybe we'll go for a little pepperoncini run later. Is this okay? Beautiful. Okie dokie. Arnie. Thank you. Uh, so, um, you were living in the woods? Yeah. I'm very outdoorsy. And what exactly is it you think you saw, Arnie? Well, Liv, you've got a great stance. But I think if you choke up on that bat just a little bit, for your height, would have a much more powerful swing. So you saw Vivian swing a bat, huh? Well, you guys were there too. Must have been cold because you were both shaking a lot. But not Viv. I think she was dressed really warmly. Well. Hey, am I in? In what, Arnie? Oh, you know, the group. The click. We could get matching jackets. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I have a look at those? Have you considered one of the new atypical antipsychotics? Zyprexa, Risperdal? I've tried those, but those taste better. <laughs> Thanks, Viv. You're the best. Drink that. Yeah. It's low fat. Oh, I need whole milk. Whole. Gotta have my vitamin D. Jeez, guys. Look, just tell me you're not suggesting what I think you are. But it's not long before this guy starts talking to someone. Maybe someone with a badge. Look, ten years ago was an accident. Now, I've got no love for Rain Man over there, but I'm not gonna... You know, me either. Look, let, let, let's just let's just play him for a while. Keep him close. Make him happy. Yeah, right, right. We'll just ah. got money. What? For a motel. Unless you guys want me to bunk here with you, maybe that'd be fun. We could have a PJ party and take the Cosmo quiz. No. Uh, no, no, no. I, I think that, that your uh, your motel idea is a winner there, Arnie. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This guy's out of his mind. <sighs> Having a few beers with my pal. This is great. Today, my new buddy Brian and I tossed back a few cold ones. Piper was there, too. What are you doing? I write everything down so I don't forget. I'm not really as smart as I look. Hmm. Some people call this a diary. But guys don't have diaries. I call mine a journal. Yeah. 
Is Piper your best friend? Yeah. Might be about the closest thing I have to one, I guess. I thought that would be Derek and Vivian. You know, because of the secret. Arnie, Arnie, just keep it cool. All right? Well, we shouldn't be talking about that. I can see you feel really bad about Adam. Not like those other two. They never say nothing. They act like nothing ever happened. Derek, you know, he just always put it off on Viv. So he doesn't even think he did anything wrong. Yeah. And her, she's as cold as ice, huh? Ice. <laughs> what are you doing with the bottles? Oh, I collect the labels. Well, Arnie, it's my bar. You don't have to hide them. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, here you go, Arnie. Here's your coffee. We got sugar, milk. It's not low fat. Plenty of vitamin D. Are you sure? Yes, sir, absolutely. <laughs> Let's play checkers. <laughs> I am not much for games. It's a really fun game, and that's what friends do. Now, you be black. <sighs> okay. Isn't this nice, sharing coffee and sharing checkers and sharing the secret? Uh, Ar Arnie, no, no talking about that in public. In fact, you know what? No talking about it at all. It never happened. Yeah. Guess you're right. It's better to pretend like nothing ever happened. Otherwise, we'd feel all guilty. That's right. It's pointless. It would be like Brian, being all sad and guilty all the time. And that dumb bar that his daddy bought for him. Not like you and Vivian. Successful people. Arnie, let me tell you something. You can't control the past, only the future. And you let yourself get bogged down like Brian has, you end up with nothing. Here, move. Hey. Hey, man. You cheated. What? what? Cheater! Oh. Wow. Uh, Arnie, take it easy. Derek, is everything... Yeah, I'm fine. Susie, we're fine, right, Arnie? We're fine. Derek is... Big cheater! Oh my God, you're really bleeding. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Just, just, Susie, get me some ice, please. Ah. Yes. Can I help you? I was kind of wondering what it felt like when you hit Adam in the head with that bat. Was it more like a melon or like a softball? It was like a softball. I knew it. Yeah. No. Not like that guy I killed in 72. I just pummeled him with my fists. It was just fists on head. It wasn't like a pop fly over second. You killed somebody, Arnie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, three, four times. How did that make you feel? I don't know. I'm not real good with words. Uh... Powerful? Yeah, powerful. Made me feel powerful. That's kind of the way you felt, right? Except for Derek and Brian, they felt something different, right? You talked about this with them? Well, yeah. 
We talk about everything. We're buddies. Talk about you a lot. What do they say? You really want to know? Yeah. They told me they both bonked you. Yeah. I was curious if it was one at a time or all together. I figured maybe we'll talk about it sometime when we're all together. Hanging. Not anymore. I've decided that friendship is the only medicine I need. Vivian, Derek, and Brian are better than drugs. Are those real boar bristles? Yes. Can I brush your hair? I suppose so. Okie dokie. What are friends for? Huh? Maybe I should brush my own. Please, be my guest. Well, all righty then. Dr. Simon Grady, DNA so expert Grady. So you've heard of him. Ma'am, there's not a DA in this country who hasn't heard of Simon Grady, but do you know how much he charges for his expert testimony? Dr. Grady, it's close personal friends with the party I represent. He's doing it free of charge. Free? Mm-hmm. So when do you think we're going to trial? Do you have any new breaks in the case or anything that... Piper! All I'm saying is this guy decked me because I jumped his checkers. I think he ate the hair out of my brush. <sighs> I just wish he'd change his clothes. Hey, did you call that doctor we talked to to find out anything else about him? State psych is a mess. It's just a bunch of incompetent secretaries, but I have written for his personal records. Well, those records aren't going to tell us anything we don't already know. The guy's a time bomb. We've got to do something. No! Hey, buddies! Arnie! <laughs> what a surprise. I've been waiting. Arnie, what are you doing here? A barbecue. Today's Sunday. Friends always barbecue on Sunday. No, they don't, Arnie. Not always. Piper. Well, your neighbors are doing it, the Gustafsons. Have a Look. seat. Looks good. What's it going to be, Viv? Rare? Medium? Oh, uh, rare, please. All righty, then. Maybe you got out. Arnie, do you leave the gate open? Uh, no. Biscuit? Oh. Yeah, thanks. All right. I wonder where he could be. You looking for Piper? Yeah. He's right here. <coughs> oh, God! Oh, my God. What's wrong? Oh, God, that is disgusting! Wouldn't stop barking. You know, uh, what's the wrong part? Incessant. I think it's a problem with the breathing. Oh, I am going to be ill. Uh, I, 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 you, you cooked my dog? Yep. Uh, Yappy, but tender. You sick psychotic freak, I'm gonna kill you! I'll kill you! Help me! Help me! I'll kill you, you weak ass! Ryan, come on! Help me! Dogs are delicacy in Korea! You hungry, boy? All right, let's see. Piper, what do you like better? Tin Tin Tin, Deputy Dog. Vengeance Unlimited will return in a moment here on ABC. Like it or not.
is this? Brian's dog, oh. right. The only thing in the whole world that he really loves, except for freedom. I can see why. You are so sweet. Yes, you are. Look at you. You're going to talk like that the whole time oh, he's here? Oh, like what? Hi. You are a dog. Listen, get me the address of the nearest teaching hospital, OK? Where are you going? I got a dental appointment. Oh, I get to watch the doggy. Yeah, and you get to walk him, too. So don't forget the poop and scoop. We should kill him. This could work for us, you know. How? How could this possibly work for us? If we kill Arnie and frame him for Adam's murder, then the investigation will be closed. Now, if we could plant some kind of... A confession. Right. Then maybe they won't look any further. And we can get on with our lives. Oh, like it never happened. Yeah, well, it did happen, Viv. And no matter what we do from now on, we did this forever. OK, and what do you think your guilt is going to get you? Some sort of a place in heaven? We need to take care of this. Here. Now. Yeah, he, he is unstable. You leave some sort of a note? Yeah, I can't believe the terrible thing I did. I can't believe Okay, blah, 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 blah. So, who's gonna get the gun? Oh, my. Now, boys, must I do everything? Huh? Yeah. Hi. Two messages. One, they're planning on killing you. And? The nearest teaching hospital with a morgue is City Medical at 2300 Washington. Where the hell is Larry? I'm sorry I'm late, but uh, I was visiting a friend in the hospital. Hmm. You didn't have an appointment, Arnie. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's see. You seem to be having a problem with, uh, what? what is this? Oh, my teeth itch. Oh. A lot. Well, let's take a look. All right. Oh, open wide. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, ah. Very uh, nice crown on that lower bicuspid. Uh, thank you. Mr. Chapel, it's one thing to make house calls to a motel, but you... You want me to what? I want you to yank this nice crown off this bicuspid back here. You mean here, now? Yeah. It looks like a perfectly good crown. I don't know why you would want... Well, you know, I don't even really want to know. Um, That's a good call, Doc. What about uh, an anesthetic? I took an ibuprofen. Huh. Okay, th so if I do this, th then we're even. You're out of my life. Forever. All right. Um, let's get started. All righty. Brian, I'm really sorry about eating your dog. Anyway, I'm hoping you'll forgive me. Brian's not mad at you, Arnie. Yeah, hell, it, it was just a dog, right? Well, yeah. You're such great pals. Sounded like Piper. Please, get over it, Brian. So, are we still on for tomorrow night? What's going on tomorrow night? It's a surprise, Arnie. Uh, we'll pick you up around 5 o'clock. Should I wear something nice? smell real. What's next? Remember that little alley we went by downtown near DeSoto? Yeah. Look for an oil drum. I take it we're talking about the location of your demise? Yeah. There's a lot of incriminating evidence on that table over there. 
implicating our little trio. So take it all with you and spread it around. But what about the body or the supposed body? We'll check the oil barrel. You didn't. <laughs> Some people donate their body parts to science, others to justice. What's with the suit, Arnie? You said we were going someplace special. We are. Uh, thought we could go bowling. I think we make the perfect foursome. We hate bowling, Arnie. Get me some ice, please. Can I brush your hair? I suppose so. What are you doing with the bottles? I collect the labels. Golly. Hey, G. What are we doing up here? Hey. <laughs> This is kind of weird. Yeah. What's going on? Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't have to go bowling. Jeez. I thought we were friends. Arnie? We were never friends. Before you blow my brains out, can I tell a little story? It's a really good story. It's about a guy, and he wasn't very handsome. He wasn't cool. His name was Adam Krieger. All that promise and all that life stuffed out at 19 years of age. I mean, what is this? Why do you sound so different? Well, because I'm not crazy, at least. Not officially. Give me that gun. I'll kill him myself. I'm already dead. Kind of ironic, don't you think? Like the three of you, being so tight that you could kill somebody, but you don't even really like each other. I don't know what's going on, but shoot him! There's another bit of irony coming up the hill. We gotta get out of here. Come on, leave her! Come on! Come on! Nice friends you got there. What's gonna be there, Viv? Set your remains on fire. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the defendants before you killed Arnie Chappell solely to cover up a brutal murder committed 10 years ago. Who was Arnie Chappell? Nobody really seems to know for sure. He apparently didn't have any family or friends. He didn't even have a social security card. But Arnie existed. We know Arnie Chappell existed because he was a witness. It's all right here in this diary. Arnie Chappell was the only witness to the murder of Adam Krieger. And to keep Arnie Chappell from revealing to the world what he had seen, the three defendants silenced him. Burning and mutilating Arnie Chappell in an alley. But Arnie left a trail as clear as a cry from the grave. A bloody napkin. Found at the crime scene, a perfect DNA match to Derek Wolf. Brunette hair. Found at both the Krieger and the Chapel crime scenes, DNA matched to Vivian Pratt. A shattered bottle containing the latent fingerprints of Brian Buckingham found at the crime scene also. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this crown is the only thing that exists today of Arnie Chapel. And we know it's his because. Teeth never lie. Get better. Yep. The guy who died and Derek Wolf had a big fight. Terrible. Mr. Buckingham screaming, I'm going to kill you to this poor man. I think I'm going to miss me. I was a great guy. Mm. Time will ease the pain. Time in. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendants guilty as charged. The defendants shall be remanded into custody pending a sentencing hearing. You know, I think you're right. I feel better already. Maybe you should be a shrink. You should be a patient. You should walk the dog. Piper, come on. Come for a walk, buddy. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Come on. Uh, How do you feel about the party? We have nothing to say. Okay. Will you kill me? Told you we should have went bowling.